Mother Nature has been kind to us. With an expansive coastline and a strong heritage of efficient traditional expertise, fishing is surely turning out to be the sunshine industry of India. Shrimp fishing is a strong forex earner for India. Huge catches of good quality shrimp are a rule rather than an exception here. But until recently, the shrimp processing industry in India had a problem. Processed shrimp requires removal of shells before packaging. The shrimp processing industry of India turns out more than 1.5 lakh tons of head and shell waste per annum. What to do with the colossal amount of waste? Dumping them in landfills is not a solution because that becomes a hazard to the environment. But how to deal with this recurring headache? Could there be an environment-friendly, cost-effective way to dispose of this waste? Worried shrimp processing industry representatives of Kerala approached the Central Institute of Fisheries Technology. CIFT came up with a unique solution. Rather than disposing of the waste, CIFT Kochi turned it into wells by turning shrimp shells into chitin and chitosan. This shrimp shell causes environmental pollution and this causes environmental hazard. So number of processing factories has approached Central Institute of Fisheries Technology for finding out a solution for this problem. During the 70s, we worked for the conversion of this prawn shell waste that is head as well as the prawn shell into a useful product. When we find out this prawn shell containing chitin, protein and mineral and when removing this protein and mineral we will get a useful product called chitin. By taking this technology for the production of chitin, the first factory came up was of India Seafood. They have taken this technology on the consultancy basis from the CIFT and produced huge quantities of chitin. Mr. Everest is one of the beneficiaries of this unique initiative. India Seafood we started uh, as an export unit of uh, seafood and during that time our main problem was disposing of our waste. Uh, this was a constant headache. So we approached uh, Central Institute of Fisheries Technology to find a way to dispose our waste. They came up with this technology of converting this waste into uh, uh, chitin and chitosan. This is our final product, chitin, which is obtained by removing the proteins and the minerals from the shrimp shell. This is further dried and sold as chitin for glucosamine manufacturers. Glucosamine is a new uh, pharmaceutical product for arthritis. Chitin extracted from prawn shells is the raw material for the production of chitosan and glucosamine hydrochloride. Chitin is a linear polymer of an hydro N acetyl D glucosamine. Hydrolysis of chitin by concentrated hydrochloric acid or HCl produces glucosamine hydrochloride. Deacylating it in hot concentrated sodium hydrochloride solution or caustic soda, it produces chitosan. In India, uh, CIFT is the uh, main institute carrying out work on uh, production of chitin and chitosan and its derivatives. We have developed the technology and transferred this to various firms and we are still carrying out different works on production, quality 
improvement and different field applications on Kaitan and Kaitosan. Kaitosan has a variety of uses. Prime among them are medical. CIFT has developed high quality Kaitosan for use in diets, for treatment of obesity and cholesterol reduction. Studies have shown the effectiveness of Kaitosan for treatment of chronic wounds and external ulcers and to arrest bleeding in neurosurgery. Kaitosan also finds usage as artificial skin for burns and dialysis membrane for renal disorders. Besides hardcore medical functions, Kaitosan is also used as sizing material for cotton, wool, rayon and other synthetic fibers, making it a boon for the textile industry. In the preparation of cosmetics and pharmaceuticals, in contact lenses and periodontal applications, water clarifying agent, Kaitosan also finds use in nanotechnology, in extending the shelf life of agricultural produce as a foliar spray for vanilla, orchids and flowering plants. Glucosamine hydrochloride, on the other hand, finds application as a dietary supplement, mainly in controlling arthritis. This makes it a high demand product, with its current estimated demand being more than 2,000 tons per month. But all of this didn't happen in a day. The invention took time to bear tangible results. Scientists of CIFT developed a universally accepted technology for the production of chitin from prawn shell waste way back in 1977. From 1980 onwards, as the demand rose, several industry setups warmed up to the technology. The products were new in the market, but once their usability and efficacy got established, there was no looking back. We did find a market for chitin and chitosan, because that was a new product in India and also around the world. After a few years of constant uh, marketing efforts, we got an inquiry from a European buyer for Kaitin. So from 1989, we started our first uh, production of uh, Kaitin. From prawn shells and crab shells, India has a potential of producing 10,000 tons of chitin per year. Another alternative source of chitin is squilla, a bycatch in shrimp trawlers, which is now discarded. An equal amount of chitin can be produced from squilla as well. At present, the chitin chitosan industry in India uses just 20% of its capacity of utilizing shell waste. Squilla is not used. Today we find that in spite of collecting from a wider area, it is still difficult to meet the requirements of uh, export. Even 20% of usage of shell waste brings home an earning of 100 crore rupees. The potential of chitin and chitosan is virtually limitless. Today, worldwide, there are over 2,000 recognized applications of chitin and its derivatives. With time, the demand will only increase. So we have to thank Central Institute of Fisheries Technology for developing this technology and finding a way to convert waste into a value-added product. CIFT has shown the way that applied science can make a massive difference. Kaitin and Kaitosan demonstrate that die-hard determination and the willingness to innovate will always pave the way for success, that it's important to be in the lookout for the right opportunities and use them to their full potential. CIFT Kochi proves that nothing works better than a consistent effort to keep researching and keep improving.